Hello, welcome to this lesson. This is lesson two, and the title is Wealth Does Not Discriminate Against People. It doesn't matter whether you are black or white, whether you are tall or short, whether you are rich, I mean, whether you are, you know, you know, strong or able bodied or you are disabled. There are so many disabled people who are rich today. There are so many blind men who are richer than those with two eyes. You see, wealth does not discriminate against your physical makeup. Then second thing I want you to know is that wealth does not discriminate against your location. You don't have to be in a particular location because wealth is everywhere. Wealth in is in advanced countries. Wealth is in developing countries. Some of the people who became wealthy in developing countries compete favorably with the richest men in the world. So wealth has nothing to do with where you are located because there is wealth everywhere, you know. So it doesn't matter whether you're in the village or you're in the town. Although there are opportunities in the town or city, but there is nowhere wealth is not. Wealth is everywhere. You can tap into wealth just where you are. You don't need to travel far before you make wealth, you know. Then another thing I want you to note is that wealth does not discriminate against profession. So anybody from any profession can rise up to become very wealthy. I've seen somebody who started by packing refuge, refuse. He would just pack the refuse, go and throw it away. That's how he started his life. He would just, you know, talk to one house, pack their refuse, and they were giving him just token. If in, the, in, the, in the course of time, as years come and go, he became so rich that he had trucks packing, you know, refuse, you know, refuse in all the houses, you know, getting contract with government, become a multimillionaire packing waste. You see, there is no profession that cannot generate you job. I've seen people who started by mending shoes. They started by mending shoes and yet they became, you know, shoe manufacturers. I've seen people who started by selling bread, common bread that people eat, and yet they became bakers. They have their own factory where they bake bread. So it is not a profession that generates the, the wealth. It is the person inside the profession. There are so many people in the same profession who are rich. In that same profession, there are so many people who are poor. So wealth does not discriminate where you are coming from, whether you are doing one profession or not. You don't have to go into a profession to become rich. That's what I'm trying to say to you. So wealth is everywhere. You can get wealthy, and now your wealth can start if you know how to. And that's what I'm going to show you. Thank you so much for listening in this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson. God bless you.